Hello guys, Fru here. Welcome to today's video. So guys, on this channel, we make videos around technology tips, career advice and inspiration. And if you're into those topics, then this channel is for you. Please consider subscribing to this uh, channel. Now, in today's video, we're going to talk about a path to getting an open and free computer science degree online. All right. It's hard to believe, but it's something very powerful that we definitely want to pay attention to and take a look now before we dive into that into talking about what this uh, path or what this resource is i want to call out really ai something we talk a lot on this channel some of the resources that that link is going to uh, reference you to it's going to be a lot of video resources and if you're watching a lot of videos online especially on youtube guys you want to take advantage of this extension uh, what it allows you to do if you just uh, install the extension on your chrome browser it allows you to uh, index videos you can see my bookmarks of the videos you can add your own bookmarks to videos you can translate videos to over 30 plus languages very very powerful guys it's a free extension you can grab it uh, install that on your chrome browser now that said we're gonna dive in into what this uh, computer science degree for free is all right this is a uh, uh, a link on uh, github is available on github the resource is available there are quite a bit of commits and uh, about 88 contributors so a lot of people are contributing to this right very powerful and if we go down and take a look it says open source society uh, university all right uh, again university in quote right because if you think about university we're always thinking about the traditional accredited universities i have no idea about the accreditation for this but if you're coming at this from the perspective of of learning versus just schooling all right i think that this could be very powerful and the difference being schooling well it's like you sit in classroom and somebody's teaching you and talking to you all day versus learning all right which you can be a self-taught learner you can just use this to augment your knowledge and even use it in combination with whatever tools that you have out there but guys if it's free why not take advantage of it all right and that's why we're sharing it in today's uh, video so if, if you've been considering computer science you definitely might want to take a look at this uh, it could be very uh, very very helpful for you all right again the link will be in the description below so let's just take a look here it talks scroll down all right so this is the curriculum all right so the curriculum does have uh, some prerequisites all right and it has intro to CS so intro to CS will be uh, our computer science and then it does have some uh, uh, core programming some mathematics uh, core systems core theory core application so that's definitely very fascinating and if you go down what we also see here is advanced programming math uh, systems uh, advanced applications final project and then pro cs so very fascinating very interesting and then what you can see here is uh, they have uh, so intro to cs they have a list of courses that if you want to go through this program and say for example you want to learn computer science then they can talk about this resource here i don't know what this is let's actually take a look um i'm sure it's gonna take you to some uh yeah it takes you to coursera uh python uh programming uh course all right and i'm not sure if this is free enroll for free all right enroll for free so starts on december 29 actually it starts today <laughs> uh december 29 that's when yeah interesting very very interesting all right then if we go back in here uh, there's a fundamentals in computing. So if you take a look at that, I'm sure it's going to reference again another Coursera uh, course. All right. And you can go ahead and take it, guys. Look at quite a bit of people are enrolled. Quite a bit of people are enrolled. All right. Now, let's uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, uh, let's go back in here. Uh, introduction to computer science and programming using Python. All right. So there's quite a bit of Python in, in there. All right, and this is coming from edX so what they're doing is they've curated all these courses from all over the web and a lot of them are open or open all right like MOOC massively open online courses and now they've built this curriculum all right so really the only thing that can stop you is just making the time to enroll in some of these free courses and just take them all right uh, some of them are I believe a lot of them are online so let's keep going down and we have a course CS core programming all right and this one might be java and then there's programming language we see all right let's take a look and this is still from coursera actually part c not with c i thought that was c programming language all right and so you can quite a bit of students are enrolled in that all right and then we go down and then of course you have math right typically with computer science uh it's kind of very important to have some solid math, 
uh, math uh, fundamentals, especially with algebra and then statistics. I would really recommend all of those. All right, so here it talks about essence of linear algebra. Uh, this one is a playlist on YouTube, right? This one is a playlist on YouTube, so you can go through this playlist, watch as much as you want. Again, guys, if you're watching all of these videos on YouTube, I highly encourage you uh, to take advantage of, it, of the Chrome extension here. I don't mean to plug this quite too, very much, but it's, it's so powerful, guys. Uh, take advantage of it uh, if you're watching all these videos on YouTube. Uh, bookmark your videos, that way you never forget anything. All right, so let's go back. Here, there's a one on integration, differentiation, coordinate, uh systems all right so this again very very powerful guys just imagine getting all of this knowledge um uh, these are some of them are taught by university professors and you're getting it all for free we live in such an amazing time right i could imagine some some youngster or some individual all right in the 1800s or in the 1900s early 1900s uh if they weren't enrolled in a school they couldn't sit at home and just get world-class education from somebody thousands of miles away all right we have that advantage today so let's take advantage of it and let's keep learning let's keep studying let's keep building our competency all right and then now we go into the core ones i'm not gonna go into every single one there's a machine learning one here which kind of interests me very much all right so this is i think this is the one by uh, andrew yang andrew gang uh nope this is not that I was trying to see who the instructor is. Let me just check it. Who the yep, Andrew Gang. Yep, there you go. He's very well known for his machine learning uh, courses. So, all right, you can enroll into that for free. Over to me. Wow, unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable. All right, that's quite a bit of people. All right, so if you're kind of putting this aside, hopefully this is a wake up call. All right, now we can go into advanced CS compilers and compiler theory, software testing, introduction to power programming, we see, and then software uh, architecture and design. Let's see which one that is. All right, this one is Udacity. All right, so we've seen uh, uh, edX, uh, we've seen Udacity, uh, we've seen Coursera, uh, we've seen YouTube. So they're bringing all of these courses from, from across the web. All right, you don't have to go find all of that. These guys have put it together in a simple curriculum uh, you can follow and then here in advanced math you have the multivariate calculus uh, multiple variable calculus um, and then there's some advanced systems and the list goes on and uh, cloud computing really good I would highly recommend guys this day if you're doing anything in computing uh, you want to pay attention to cloud computing as well very very important a lot of companies are going to the cloud so I would definitely want to pay attention to uh, to cloud computing so let's see what we have here over 23,000 students are enrolled so overall really great and then there is a final project there is a final project you know a lot of these things you want to always be hands-on right when i look at programs i always say are you hands-on or is this just all theory right it's one thing to just read books and watch all these videos and take all these courses but if you're not building something uh you're not really you know sort of defining your competency so it's very good that they have something here around the final project I haven't read through to see all the details, but I could imagine that it's something very, um, very relevant. So here, mastering software development with R, all right, and then where to go next? There's some readings. You can click on that, all right. Uh, the readings are there, so let's just go back and then scroll down a little bit more, all right. And then there's references. There was uh, the team that put this together. And then there were some references on Google Technical Documents, Coursera, edX, Stanford, MIT Open Courseware. I'm a huge fan of MIT Open Courseware. Uh, it's a YouTube channel. I believe this is a YouTube channel. Well, they have a YouTube channel too where you can see a lot of their videos there. All right, but here you can see a lot of the courses that they have. All right, guys, so this brings us to the end, right? You can get a computer science degree for free, for free. Now, the question is, what is stopping you from taking advantage of this all right is it is it time is it is it what motivation is it lack of resources right it can be that right well so many resources here you've got the time right and don't even begin to say you don't have the motivation so i hope you take advantage of this guys i hope you guys take advantage of this i hope this was helpful to you and if you like this if you do like this please consider liking this video um if you have any thoughts or any questions Please jump into the comment section below. Leave that. I'll be more than happy to engage and to discuss with you guys. All right. Thanks for watching through here. And I'll see you in our next video.